in this video we will try to solve all the questions that were asked in today's jk ssb class 4 the exam the first question is uh, four years ago sapna's mother was three times as old as sapna after six years she will be twice as old as sapna present age in years of sapna's mother is the options are 39 36 34 and 24 so we will see what is the correct option first of all let us say s is the age of sapna and m is the age of mother that is s and m are the present age of sapna and mother now the relationship between uh, them after four years is so after four years age of sapna would be s minus four and age of mother would be m minus four okay if s is the present age after uh, four years they will be s minus four years old okay and the relationship between them um, four years ago is that sapna's mother is three times as old as sapna so this is the relationship this is the age of sapna and this is the age of mother three years before also after six years she will be so uh, uh, after six years age of sapna would be s plus six and age of mother would be m plus six it is obvious and the relationship is that uh, she will be twice as old as sapna so this is two times okay this is the relation this is the age of mother six years after and this is the age of uh, sapna six years later okay now we have the two equations here this equation and this equation when we solve them we will get here uh, 3s minus uh, 3s minus 12 is equal to m minus 4 that is equal to 3s minus m is equal to 8 when we solve this also this is 2s 2s uh, 2s plus 12 is equal to m my m plus 6 when solving this will become 2s minus m is equal to 6 minus 12 or we have 2s minus m is equal to minus 6 so we have these two equations we can subtract them so mm, here it is minus this will become plus and this also becomes plus this minus m and plus m will get cancelled now 3s minus 2s is equal to s and we have here 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 so we got the age of sapna that is equal to 14 now age of sapna's mother would be so i will rub here age of sapna's mother will be we will put s is equal to 14 in this equation or uh, in either of these two equations so we have 3 into s the value of s is 14 3 into 14 minus m is equal to 8 so 3 into 14 is this is equal to 42 minus m is equal to 8 or 42 minus 8 is equal to m or m is equal to 42 minus 8 is equal to uh, that is equal to this is 4 uh, this is 34 so age of the sapna's mother uh, uh, rather the present age of the sapna's mother is 34 years so we will see if there is the option yes there is the option of 34 next question is what percentage of 60 is 12 the options are 12 16 20 and 24 now uh, 12 of 60 means that is 12 out of 60 means uh, that is equal to 12 divided by 60 into 100 percent okay so this 6 and 6 gets cancelled this 0 and 0 gets cancelled 6 ones are 6 twos are 12 and 2 tens are 20 so the correct option in this case would be 20. next question is two cylinders of same volume have their radii in the ratio of 3 is to 1 what is the ratio of their height is so here uh, the ratio is given as that is r1 is to r2 is given as 3 is to 1 let us say we have circle a 
and circle B and their volume is same as we know the formula for volume of a cylinder is given by that is uh, pi r1 square h1 b the radi uh, sorry volume of the first uh, cylinder which is equal to pi r2 square h2 since we have to find the ratio of their height is we can write it as like this h1 and transposing this h2 on the left side we have h2 is equal to pi r2 square divided by and transposing this term pi r1 square and we can write r2 is uh, r2 divided by r1 is given as since r1 is to r2 is 1 is to 3 that means r2 is to r1 is equal to 1 is to 3 so we can write uh, like this pi now r2 is our 1 1 square divided by pi r1 square so in place of r1 we have uh, 3 square 3 square this pi and pi will get cancelled now this is 1 square divided by 3 square which is equal to 1 divided by 9 so we can say that ratio of the height is equal to 1 is to 9 that is h1 is to h2 is equal to 1 is to 9 is the ratio between the radius of the cylinder okay next question is uh, the smallest number that leaves remainder 7 when divided by 35 56 and 91 is the options are given so uh, to find the solution first of all uh, we find the lcm of the numbers and we add 7 that is the remainder this will give us the smallest number okay so first of all i take 35 56 and 91 and i take their lcm so 2 28s are 35 and 91 will remain same now 2 14s are 35 and 91 will remain same now 2 7s are 14 35 and 91 will remain same now with 5 5 7s are 35 7 and 91 will remain same now with 7 1s are 7 7 1s are 7 7 13 uh, 91 and lastly by lastly by 13 13 1s are 13 so the product is 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 7 into 13 when multiplying these numbers we will get and adding this remainder also and adding 7 also the remainder we will get the answer is 3 6 uh, 4 7 so the correct option would be 3 6 4 7 yes and this very option option b is correct so this option would be correct so how do we uh, find this we take lcm of the numbers 35 56 and 91 and we add remainder we this gives us the smallest number next question is the probability of getting exactly four tails when six unbiased coins or tossed is options are 15 by 64 31 divided by 64 3 divided by 32 and d is uh, 31 divided by something so we will see so this question requires binomial uh, distribution formula that is here n is equal to 6 okay and the formula is n c r probability or probability of success and q is the probability of uh, failure n minus r here our n is 6 okay we have to get 
four tails so our r is four okay and probability of getting uh, getting a tail as we know if we toss a coin is one by two that is uh, our p is equal to one by two and q probability of not getting a tail is also one by two okay so using these uh, things we can calculate uh, the probability now uh, we are we have n i will write in place of n we have six divided by r our r is four and this is six minus four uh, this is the symbol for factorial uh, that i use and probability of success that is probability of getting tail is one by two one by two our r is four times q probability of not getting tail that is also one by two n minus r that is six minus four six minus four okay when solving this will come out to be this is six into five into factorial four divided by factorial four and we have factorial six minus four is factorial two so i will write here two simply two into one times we have this uh, one divided by four one divided by two raised power four this is equal to one divided by two to the four to the eight to the sixteen times here six minus four is two this is one divided by four now cancelling this factorial and factorial two ones are two threes are six so now three fives are fifteen we get uh, 15 divided by 16 to 4 is uh, that is 32 that is 64 so this is 64 so the correct option i guess is 15 divided by 64 that is option a is correct okay next question is sum of the ages of father and son is 68 after eight years father will be thrice as old as son the present age in years of the son is the options are 18 16 15 and 13 so we will see what is the correct option let us say uh, f is the age of father plus s is the age of son and sum of the ages is equal to 68 okay after eight years age of father would be f plus eight and age of son would be s plus 8 okay and the uh, relationship is given as after 8 years uh, age of father is thrice the age of son so here it is 3 now solving this will become f plus 8 is equal to 3s uh, plus 3 8s are 24 or f minus this 3s when transposing this will become minus 3s is equal to 24 minus 8 or f minus 3s is equal to 16 so we have these two equations this equation and this and we will solve them okay so we can subtract these two equations so this will become minus this becomes uh, this becomes plus and this becomes minus so this f and f will get cancelled uh, s plus 3s is equal to 4s so i will write 4s is equal to now 68 minus 16 is equal to 52 okay or s is equal to 52 divided by 4 which comes out to be s is equal to uh, 13 okay 13 fours are 52 so the present age of the sun would be 13 so i guess the option is here yes so the correct option would be 13 next question is identify the incorrect match between the element and the corresponding chemical formula here calcium that is ca it is correct aluminium al it is correct sodium sodium has na as it is chemical formula so the correct option would be c option here okay next question is 
originally uh, called the Bombay Times and Journal of Commerce. Their paper was founded in 1838 in Mumbai, then Bombay, to serve the British residents of Western India, identify the newspaper. So, the newspaper is the Times of India. Next question is, Vitamins are substances that our body needs to grow and develop normally. The vitamin prepared uh, in our body with the help of sunlight is, it is obvious that is the vit vitamin K is formed by our body uh, with the help of sunlight. Next question is, uh, which among the following union territories is also the capital of two neighboring states? So, the correct option, uh, I guess, is the Chandigarh. Chandigarh is the capital of Haryana. Uh, Haryana and also of Punjab okay next question is as per uh, 2011 census data in which of the following union territories the female population outnumbers the male population that is which has the highest highest sex ratio among the among the union territories so the correct option is pondicherry pondicherry has the highest sex ratio among the union territories next question is the act of transferring pollen grains from the male anther of a flower to female stigma is called uh, the options are photosynthesis polarization pollination or uh, polymerization the correct option is the pollination next question is uh, choose the word that spelled correctly and fill the blanks he lacked the days to take the project so the correct option is confidence c o n f i d a n c e c o n f i d a n c e i guess either this option or this c option is uh, confidence c o n f i d e n c e i guess the third option is correct coming to the next question identify the synonym of the word uh, the word is the middle aged man is a brilliant player uh, brilliant uh, uh, lawyer by brilliant we mean uh, studious uh, studious culpable stupid or bright I guess the correct option should be option D that is bright next question is identify the synonym of the underlined word the stream had cut a rift in the rock the options are rig tunnel channel or crack I guess the correct option in this uh, question is crack next uh, uh, we have uh, fill in the blanks with the correct option even after days, years, uh, everything has remained days. Even after mm, several years, everything has remained. Uh, I guess even after many years, everything uh, has remained. The same would be correct op option in this case. Next question is, choose the antonym of the underlined word. The couple filed sorry the couple fled uh, from home in the night by fled we mean arrived deserted absconded or retreated we have to find the antonym fled uh, it is antonym antonym would be arrived so the correct option would be a next question is fill in the blanks with the correct option all the best bargains were snapped up day showers all the best bargains were snapped up uh, with our snapped up i'm not sure about the option so next question is the children were scared when the train was passing a uh, through would be correct through a tunnel next question is uh, the book contains day series of elementary exercises uh, for learners the book contains uh, the book contains 
series of elementary so i guess no article would be uh, here so correct option is b next question is choose the correct word that is spelled correctly and fill in the blanks a river, uh, a river can change it is c o u r s e course i guess d option is correct next question is uh, he dash his left hand to so typed with one hand he has injured so correct option would be has injured